So our fish team this morning donated me some beautiful diced up bits of tuna. And I thought, what am I going to do? So I came up with the idea of making some spicy macaroni cheese and tuna croquettes. So check out the video and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, quick run through of ingredients. We've got our butter and flour. We've got some finely diced shallots over here. We've got our full fat milk, our already cooked macaroni, homemade mayonnaise with some comfy garlic and some sesame, a mix of cheeses, or should I say a blend. We've got some Mexicana, some strong cheddar. We've got our chopped slash diced tuna, a few garnish options of some chilies and spring onions. We've got everything we need to do our pane, which is to make the crispy croquettes, and just a little bit of lemon, which I'll use just to zest at the end. So first up, we're gonna go in with about 50 grams of butter. And we just wanna melt that down in the pan. I've only got it on a medium heat. As that butter's nearly melted, you can go straight in with your diced shallots. And I've only used about one shallot here. I'm going to add a small pinch of salt. And you just want to give them a light saute until they go transparent. So now your shallots are underway. They've been sautéing for two to three minutes. You can add your flour. What I like to do is pass my flour through a sieve and it's about 50 grams again and just break down all of those lumps. And this will help you to cook out the roux later on. And you just want to cook out that butter and flour for about two minutes. You just want to keep bringing it all together. So now your flour has started to cook out in the butter, you can gradually add your milk. And I'm using about 500 mils of milk here. Most of the lumps now have started to break down. And just to finish that off, we're going to use a whisk. And then we can slowly start adding the cheddar cheese and the spicy Mexicana. So just get that straight into that pan. I'm using about 100 grams of each for this sauce. Let's get it all in there. Let's not be shy. I'm going to add another little pinch of salt. I'm going to turn off the heat now. We're going to add our diced tuna. And there's about 100 grams of tuna there. Then about 125 to 150 grams of our cooked macaroni. And we're just gonna fold that together like so. And there we have it. That is our spicy tuna and macaroni croquette mix. The next thing to do is to turn out all of your lovely spicy tuna macaroni cheese into a nice deep dish and get that in the refrigerator until chilled. Because there is no way that you are gonna boil that while it's still hot. Okay, so here we have it. This is the pan station. I've got my flour, my beaten eggs, and my breadcrumb mix. Over here to the right hand side, I've got the chilled spicy tuna mac and cheese mix. So this is ready to go. That took a couple of hours. Um, so first up, I'm gonna use some gloves. You don't have to but I like to keep my hands as clean as possible. So the objective here is to get almost golf ball, kind of 50 gram size macaroni cheese balls. So what I do is I just grab a little bit, put it in my palm like so, and I just ball it round. They don't have to be perfect. Once you've got the flour and the breadcrumbs on there, 
kind of seems to come together. But that's what we're looking for. It's a nice, slightly smaller than a golf ball size. So I'm going to quickly make, I'm going to make four. Once you've got them balled, I then like to drop these into the flour, like so. And then I like to start coating it with the flour. I give it a little dust off, and I put it back on the tray. So these are now ready for the egg wash and breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna wash my hands one more time. I know it probably looks silly because I am wearing gloves, but it still keeps your hands clean. You want one hand for egg wash, one hand for breadcrumbs, and you wanna just drop it into that egg wash mix, like so. It's always good just to drain off that excess egg mixture. Straight into the breadcrumbs. Give it a nice coat with the other hand. Back into the egg wash. So we are doing a double pané here. Straight back into the breadcrumbs, like so. If you want to reshape them, just give them a little shuffle inside the palm of your hand, like so. And then you just want to repeat that four times. Okay, so my four balls are panade. Let's get ready for the deep frying. In go to the fry basket with your four tuna mac cheese croquettes. We've set this fry at 170. So these croquettes should take about three to four minutes. So now we're going to lift up these croquettes and see how they're doing in the fryer. As you can see here, they're oozing away, so they are definitely ready to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift them up just into this bowl. And let's get plating. So now it's time to get these croquettes plated. A good, healthy portion of our homemade mayonnaise. Like so. We're going to go three of these croquettes here, a few spring onions, and just let them fall wherever they like, and then just dot a few of these chilies. Here we have it, our spicy tuna and macaroni cheese croquettes. A little bit of preparation, but really, it's easy work. So try the recipe, enjoy, and tell us what you think.